Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this opportunity to spend a few moments in God's Word and prayer. This week we've been talking about Hebrews, specifically Hebrews chapter 1, and we're bringing out insights from this chapter. Today we'll talk about purification for sins. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. After he had provided purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty in heaven. In the opening verse of Hebrews, we learn that Jesus is the heir of all things through whom the universe was created. We also saw that Jesus is the exact representation of his being, sustaining all things by his powerful word. And now we read about what Jesus has provided, purification for sins. This point is one of the main teachings in the book of Hebrews. Jesus provided purification for sins. Notice also that Jesus had already done this for us. It is something in the past. Purification means being made pure or clean again. When humanity fell into sin, it, is, it tainted everything about us. We are unable to do anything to make ourselves pure and clean again. We need someone far greater than we are in order to be purified of sins. The book of Hebrews was likely written to a group of Jewish Christians who were familiar with the Old Testament sacrificial system. The author here argues that Jesus is the ultimate and final high priest and sacrifice surpassing the effectiveness of the Old Testament sacrificial system. In the Old Covenant, the high priest was responsible for making atonement for the sins of the people by offering animal sacrifices. These sacrifices effectively cleansed the people from their sins and restored their relationship with God. Hebrews presents Jesus as the ultimate high priest who offered himself as the perfect sacrifice for the forgiveness of sins. Unlike the animal sacrifices in the Old Covenant, Jesus' sacrifice is deemed sufficient to purify humanity once for all from every sin. Jesus' death on the cross is seen as the means by which purification of sin is achieved. His sacrifice is understood as the atoning for the sins of humanity, making it possible for people, that is you and I, to be forgiven and reconciled to God. Hebrews also emphasizes the finality or the completeness of Jesus' sacrifice. Unlike the repeated animal sacrifices in the Old Covenant, Jesus' sacrifice does not need to be repeated. It accomplishes purification of sins once and for all. Jesus has provided a ransom to God, not the devil, but for believers. Jesus made purifications for sin, reconciling each one of us to God. The writer makes it clear that the blood which was spilled in both Old and New Covenant is necessary for forgiveness of sins and is not possible without it. In the New Covenant, this means a single, perfect, once-for-all shedding of blood by Jesus Christ. Having been washed and made pure, we are called to live a righteous life, holy and acceptable unto God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for what you have done on the cross that once for all, you paid our price and you made atonement for us and, and, you, and you reconciled us back to God. We thank you, Lord, that you paid the price. We pray, God, that we will continue to walk in this new identity as your children. We pray, God, that we will walk in your light. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.